I'm waiting for your email to know that we're live. Hey everybody, uh, this is Layla McCalla. I'm here in New Orleans, Louisiana, and i um, excited to play some songs for you all. Um, friend, my dear friend Karen is letting me use her lovely living room to do this concert because my house is, um, we're outnumbered at my house. I have three kids and um, they don't let me play music. So this is really fun for me <laughs> to just be alone and have some silence. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I'm i gonna talk a lot because I have a lot to say, <laughs> but I'm gonna get to playing some music. This is a song that um, is, actually I'm gonna start with a song that isn't on any of my records. Um, and hopefully I'll record it one day. I wrote it um, for the Fresh Grass Festival, um, Fresh Scores series. Um, I composed some music to a short film by Zora Neale Hurston. And um, the film is uh, some footage, some raw footage from her at a church in Beaufort, South Carolina in the 1940s. I think it was actually 1940. And, um, and, and this is the first song that I wrote based on a, a Gullah Geechee song, um, another field recording. So many field recordings passed down before this song came through. This one's called One Road to Heaven. There's just one road to heaven, it is here. There's just one road to heaven. Jesus died on the cross with the faith he never lost. Just saw one road to heaven, it is he. There's just one way to heaven, it is he. Commandment keepers at the door, oh how I love my dear. Just see one way to heaven it is he. Just see one way to heaven it is he. Jesus died on the cross with the faith he never lost. Just so one. Demandez d'esprit, 
devrait la prier pour protéger sa marque aimée. In a show of my faith, I go up to the altar to kneel down and pray. I will ask the Mother Mary in my most sincere voice to protect what I streams how you just feel the room echo I miss I miss you all I miss being on tour and traveling but um but it's also been remarkable to feel this sense of connection on this other more more subtle level um, I want to play a couple of songs for you from my first record um, I've been thinking a lot about this album because, uh, you know, uh, the album is called Very Colored Songs and I released it in tribute to Langston Hughes, who I sort of credit with um, inspiring me down this artist path. And um, I'm thinking a lot ago, you know, when I was working on these songs, how different my life was and how different the world was, but how much these words still carry so much weight and, and meaning for our lives and it's the beautiful thing about making art but um this one's called girl <laughs>
pushing it in, growing things with no pain. The dancing sunshine and laughing rain. She went one summer morning when the flowers spread the plain. She told everybody she'd be coming back again. She went. song this is how I got the title for the record but um you know I I'm I'm live streaming tonight from New Orleans Louisiana which is uh, a city that I've called home for the last 10 years I was born in New York um, and grew up in Maplewood New Jersey but um, I you know feel like New Orleans has been such a big part of me kind of finding my creative voice and connecting with my Haitian roots. Um, you might have noticed I was singing in Creole on, um, on the second song that I sang tonight, um, which is actually a Brazilian song that I translated into Haitian Creole. But, um, you know, yeah, just Louisiana music and culture has been such a big part of me, sort of fully embracing Creole, not just as a language, but also as a, a culture and an identity. And, um, Something that really helped me along the way was learning uh, fiddle tunes by Kemre Fontenot. Um, I just love his music so much, and I, I love Cajun and, and Creole music in general, and I'm still learning a lot about it. But uh, this is a tune called Les Plats Sont Tu Mis Sur La Table, which means all the plates on the table are set, if you don't speak French. 
And uh, the first verse says, where can I find a do-nothing job? The second verse says, where can I find a woman who's hungry when I'm hungry? And the third verse says, where can I find the plates set on the table at my house? <laughs> ah, my bow was not ready. <laughs> support tried to get in touch but I think we're good the show must go on I hope you heard the end of that too
Um, there was a song called La Tibonit, which is um, a traditional song from Haiti um, about uh, a bad harvest. Uh, the the Artibonit is uh, a valley and a river. In, in Creole, it's La Tibonit. Um, it's a valley and it's a river. It's this really beautiful region where a lot of the country's exports came from and continue to come from. And, um, and the song is, uh, you know, a lot of people, most people don't know a lot about Haiti, but when you do hear about Haiti, it's in the news and it's always something, um, you know, really terrible, but, uh, Haiti is such a beautiful country and, um, you know, it's been part of my mission in sharing this music is to share um, the beautiful parts of Haiti and to to allow those to continue to grow um, or to help that to continue to grow. Um, and the songs are, are just stunning. So um, the song says, when I go to the valley, they tell me that the sun is ill and it's lying still. I went to go see the sun. I found the sun was sleeping. And then the second verse is, I, I went to the valley, they, they tell me that the sun is ill and lying still, and I, I went to go see the sun, I found the sun had died, and it hurts my heart to have to bury the sun, I regret having to bury the sun, the, the, the um, call and response section um, is, you know, of the sun, and um, I just thought it was, you know, it's just so poetic and beautiful, and um, that song in particular kind of set me on a path of exploring other um, folk songs from Haiti. That song comes from a style of music called uh, troubadour music. And um, it's kind of the antecedent to compa, which is uh, a popular dance form and style of music in Haiti. But anyway, um, this next song was written in the 1950s by a man named Franz Cassius, a Haitian guitar player. Um, I was actually looking for Haitian folk songs and I, um, I did a Google search one day and found this album called Haitian Folk Songs by Franz Cassius and Lolita Cuevas. Um, and it's actually on the Smithsonian Folk label um, and I, I love this album so much. I highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in good music, but definitely anyone who's interested in Haitian music. Um, and uh, I, I think I've played this song almost every set of mine since I've learned it. Um, it's called Merci Bon Dieu, and this is a song about uh, celebrating a good harvest. So the song says, um, the rain is falling and the corn is growing and all the children are eating, so let's dance. Our Father up in heaven says our misery is over. <laughs> Merci, bon Dieu, garder comme un ami. 
Hmm. Love that song. Um, I'm gonna play. No, no. It's the thing when you playing by yourself, you don't always have to have a plan. Like when you have a band playing with you. Um, my instruments are all over this living room. If you could see, look very, very artsy in here. <laughs> Um, you know, I think that this coronavirus has really brought our conversation about racism in the United States to a boiling point. Um, the isolation that everyone is experiencing and feeling, um, coupled with, um, you know, just the continuing lack of regard for black life um, in, you know, the, certainly in law enforcement and, you know, in the police, but, um, but really we kind of are starting to see how we've been doing that in all these other toxic ways um, for literally centuries. Um, and I'm you know, I'm really happy that we're talking about it and I'm really hopeful for change. Um, but, you know, peace doesn't come without justice and uh, change doesn't come without truth. And um, so I'm, I want to sing a song that, you know, I've, I've sang it a few times recently because it just feels so appropriate. Um, I kind of have put it to rest for a few years. But this is another uh, Langston Hughes poem, and this one's called Song for a Dark Girl. And, um, you know, it just makes me think of, just even in the past I think, couple of weeks, there have been black bodies found hanging from trees, all, you know, many of them rolled suicides, which seems just awfully fishy. And, um, you know, our... The work is not done. The work is not done. So I got to keep on singing this song. A song for a dark girl. Way down south in Dixie break the heart of me they hung my black young lover to a crossroads tree way down south in dixie bruised body high in the air i asked the white lord jesus what was the use of prayer way down south in dixie Break the heart of me Love is a naked shadow On a gnarled and naked tree Way down south in the the heart of me they hung my black young lover to a crossroads tree way down south in dixie bruised body high in the air i asked the white lord jesus what was the use of prayer way down south in dixie Break the heart of me Love is a naked shadow On a gnarled and naked tree Love is a naked shadow On a gnarled and naked tree Love is a naked shadow On a gnarled and naked tree
And I think this conversation, so many people are, you know, uh, so many ideas that were so considered very leftist and progressive are sort of becoming more mainstream. And um, it's been really, I mean, I enjoy watching that. It's been really cool to watch that happen. But, um, you know, Black Lives Matter, um, you know, I think at, at one point, and maybe still, you know, this crazy administration we have here in the United States <laughs> considered Black Lives Matter a terrorist group. I, I think I saw something, <laughs> I saw something really funny that said uh, um, Antifa, you know, is like officially considered like, uh, you know, uh, enemies of the state. And I, I saw a meme that said Antifa is about, you know, as, as organized as the same people that don't like the Dave Matthews band, <laughs> which is just like, you know, a, a ridiculous comparison. But, you know, being anti-fascist should not make you an enemy of the state. And, um, you know, these conversations that we're having about defunding the police um, and abolishing the police, you know, um, are, are really important. Um, we have not, in my opinion, we, we need to be putting our resources into our future, into our people, into our children, into education, into health care. Um, you know, we're being brought to our knees right now with a dysfunctional health care system. And um, I'm really, I'm, I'm hopeful for change. Um, but, you know, as an artist and songwriter and singer, I think what I really am striving for is, um, you know, stories that kind of tell the truth, that make you empathy, empathize, you know, that make you feel empathy. Because um, I think that that change kind of starts in the heart before it can reach the head. So anyway, I, I just want to continue with this song. Um, this is on my second record. Um, and it's a, a song by a songwriter named Abner J, who I love so much. This is his song, Vietnam.
here I come, Vietnam, Vietnam. Hmm. Another one I haven't sang a lot the past few years. Um, I've been starting to sing this next song a lot more. I'm going to sing a song that I wrote with my very, very dear friend and sister, Allison Russell, from the Birds of Chicago and uh, our native daughters. I'll never forget writing this song with Allie. I think we were um, in the studio all day at Dirk Powell's studio recording the Native Daughters record and kind of just collaboratively songwriting and then recording spontaneously. The way that record came together was uh, amazingly fast and um, the response has been really surprising and, and beautiful. Um, I never thought I would be in a super group of all black women banjo players but <laughs> hey times are changing anyway um this is a song called i knew i could fly that me and Allie wrote um and i was thinking of uh etta baker an amazing piedmont guitarist um when i wrote this song and i i sat down with her album railroad bill released to the music maker relief foundation um, years ago, I think in the 90s, and um, and I feel like I, I, I tried to learn how to play Piedmont style guitar, so anyway, um, I knew I could fly. Thank you. 
Uh, I'm gonna go back to Haiti for this next song. Stay on the guitar. This is a song called La Vivienne, which means the life of an old man. This song is talking about an old man who's been living in poverty his whole life, and it says, the soles of his shoes are as thin as crepes, and if the world is round, it's not his fault. Money doesn't fall in the pockets of poor people. We do what we have to do to get by, but at the end of the day, as soon as it comes in, it's gone. La vie vient comme chez Sucre Soleil, même si la terre ronde, c'est pas faux de manier. La vie vient comme chez Sucre Soleil, même si la terre ronde, c'est pas faux de manier. La joie m'a fait beau, n'a pas de manier, nous fait pour nous vivre. Sous la terre bénie, la joie m'a fait beau, n'a pas de manier, nous fait pour nous vivre. Sous la terre bénie. La vie vient des cœurs chez Sucre et Soleil, même si la terre ronde, c'est pas faux malheur. La joie va faire bout, la bouche malheur, nous fait pour nous vivre. Sous la terre bénie, la joie va faire bout, la bouche malheur, nous fait pour nous vivre. Sous la terre bénie, mes amis, la joie va faire bout, la joie va faire bout. La vie vient des cœurs chez Sucre et Soleil, même si la terre ronde, c'est pas faux malheur. La joie va faire bout, n'a pas de malheur, nous fait pour nous vivre. Sur la terre bénie, la joie va faire bout, n'a pas de malheur, nous fait pour nous vivre. Sur la terre bénie, mes amis, la joie va faire bout. named Coupe Cloué, but I really fell in love with his records uh, before he was even called Coupe Cloué. He had a, a, a band called Trio Select, and um, you can still find their albums. Um, that's some of my favorite, favorite music, um, and I've been really inspired by it. Um, uh, actually, when I was in the house, uh, Don Flemons gave me um, an album of songs by a Calypso artist. Um, called The Growling Tiger. And ever since, I, I, when I first heard this song, I thought, I have to sing that song one day. And um, I think it's appropriate. It's called Money is King. If a man has money today, people don't care if he has Coco Bay. If a man has money today, people don't care if he has Coco Bay. He can commit murder and get off free Live in the governor's company But if you are poor People tell you, shoot, a dog is better than you Tonight. 
about my band. I miss my band. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I think, um, I think I'm going to play a Cajun song now. This one's called the Jugo Plombo. It's also a breakup song. <laughs> And a jug of plumbo means uh, it's like a jug of moonshine. And uh, so I guess the person that's singing this song is saying, I'm walking down the streets and I'm drinking and I'm crying. I just want to see your pretty face. You hurt me so much. It's all your parents' fault that we can't be together. Um, if we can't get along, it's your mother's fault. And if we have to break up, you can thank your father. <laughs> I love these happy songs. <laughs> Actually, I'm 
was playing this song earlier. I'm trying to decide if I was going to play it. And, uh, I think I am going to play it. Um, well, the, this, uh, this is a song that goes into, that I wrote that goes into a Haitian song. Um, the first one's called Let It Fall, and uh, the second one's called Fail. And yeah, I feel like there's so much to let go of these days, um, coping with the new reality, especially as a musician. It's just like, I've been thinking a lot about how we always thought we were in control and we're just never in control. And yeah, anyway, this one's called Let It Fall. <laughs> Love you. 
Signature Sounds um, for all that has gone into presenting this show tonight. Um, I'm really grateful for the opportunity and um, just really grateful to have shared this moment with you all out there, wherever you are. Someone messaged me today saying that they were going to stay up extra late tonight in Poland to be able to see this concert and, um, and that, just, that just made me smile a lot today thinking about this concert um you know i can't i can't wait until we can do this in person again um but until then uh please keep in touch i've got actually i think the the most surprising thing of this whole experience has to been to see that my career is somewhat sustainable and <laughs> that i still have a lot of projects in the works and um a lot of exciting things coming up so please stay in touch um, I'm going to play you one last song, and uh, this song was the title to my second album. It's called A Day for the Hunter, A Day for the Prey, and uh, I know that there's a lot flooding our media these days, um, but I think it's really important for us to remember that we still have people um, in cages who are being detained by the U.S. government unjustly um, for seeking asylum in the United States, which people have done for, you know, uh, at least a hundred years. Um, and, you know, when I wrote this song, I was thinking about refugees fleeing persecution and violence and famine in, in Haiti. In the 80s and 90s, I was reading this book actually called A Day for the a Hunter, A Day for the Prey, that talked about this tradition of songwriting that emerged from that time. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to write a song called A Day for the Hunter, A Day for the Prey? And when I read that phrase, that is also a Haitian proverb. And, um, and then when I released the album, it was 2016, and there was a lot in the news about the civil war in Syria and people fleeing, you know, persecution and violence um, across Europe. And of course, you know, we know that those stories are incredibly treacherous. Um, but, you know, today I'm singing these words, thinking about, you know, all people who are, who are fleeing violence and persecution and just looking for a safe haven. And so, I'm going to play this one for you. A day for the hunter, a day for the prey. Thank you all so much for listening. Um, can't wait to be with you again in person. Thank you. 